What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a Dominaria draft here on, uh, on I guess you're, I guess we're, I guess you're watching on uh, youtubecom slash And uh, yeah, today we're gonna go over Dominaria. We're also some packs. We're probably gonna open in the meantime, uh, in between rounds or what have you. So, uh, so that should be fun. And um, I'd like to give a big shout out uh, to uh, Brian Blevins, the owner of the game store in uh, Jacksonville, Arkansas. He brought me out this past weekend. Uh, gave me some, gave me some product. Um, and, uh, had a good time with the pre-releases there. So that was pretty sweet. If you guys, uh, if you guys, uh, don't, aren't familiar, be sure to check out the game store on Facebook. They had some issues last year with their roof, the roof, the store's roof collapse. So they've been, they've been struggling to repair that. It should be repaired in the, uh, within the next month. So that should be great. And they should be open again. Um, but had a good time. Brian's a great guy. So uh, definitely give Brian some support. I'm going to take this Verdant Force because <clears throat> I think it's probably the strongest card in this pack. Black Blade Reforged also seems pretty busted. And they took an uncommon over it. Black Blade is Black Blade as strong as I think it is? I don't know. I don't think Song of Frailies is actually that good. Well, they didn't take a foil rare because there's no there's a there's only two uncommons in the pack. So they definitely took an uncommon. Rona is also very good, but Black Black Blade Reforged. Black Blade seems insane, right? Like you just, even if you pay seven, like at the point you're paying seven mana to put on a regular creature, the creature's getting plus seven plus seven. <laughs> Noah was a drunk. What's going on, buddy? Why wow, you're grinding through that eight hour vod? Oh my god, dude, you are a trooper. I'll probably download that and just upload it to YouTube. So we'll see. Take a uh, song was not that amazing for me. Um, I, I just wasn't impressed by it because you have to actually, uh, like the first two abilities, just adding the mana isn't that great for me because like, I want to be attacking with my creatures early in the game. And, um, the third ability is the best part of it, but it takes three turns. So I don't know. Uh, Oath of Teferi is, I think Oath of Teferi is sweet, but not unlimited. So I'm probably just going to take Baloth Gorger. I think this card's great. Four, 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 or a seven, seven for eight. Probably def probably definitely the pick. I, I don't think do you guys actually is, you guys actually think Yargle is a good card? I think he's good to combo with. Like if you happen to have like the uh like any of the enchantments that go on him, that's fine, but I don't I don't think he's just a great in general. I don't I'm not a big impulse fan, I'm not a big broken bond fan. I'll play a broken bond in the sideboard. I think the best card in this pack is either Syncopate or Cloud Reader Sphinx. <clears throat> Which doesn't say much here. Yeah, I like Sphinx. It's easily splashable. Um, yeah, on Sarah's Wings is gross with Yargle, but they are both uncommons. Yeah, I guess it's just Sphinx. Ancient Animus is pretty good. Um, we have Black Blade Reforge and Ancient Animus. I'm just going to hope we draw some uh, some legendary guys. But, I mean, this is just a one mana. This is just a two mana fight card when they don't have. Even if you don't get the counter. So, I think it's pretty good. Discard your hand. No, not going to play. Not playing this unlimited. I don't. I mean, you could, but I, I don't think we're going to. It's probably just Deep Freeze. Yeah, Deep Freeze seems fine. I guess we could be blue green. I would like some ramp because I don't think this Verdant Force coming out on turn, uh, turn eight is really ideal. I think you need flyers in this format as well, to be honest. Um, I also think you need two drops in this format because this format's pretty... It seems it doesn't seem aggressive, um, but it seems like a lot of the decks go wide. <clears throat> um, I don't think we're going to need Land of War Envoy just because we don't have... We're not, probably not going to need the fixing. I think it might just be another Deep Freeze. I do like a Grow from the Ashes. Um, yeah, we'll take Grow from the Ashes. There's nothing else in this pack for us. Crow Sand Druid's a nice little card. Um, it's a 2-3, which is fine. But then it is a 2-3 that gains you 10 life, and that is a good amount. 
So this would be a six, this would be seven, this will be four, five, six. This is eight mana. All right, so you're gonna go there. Eight, seven, six, five, yeah, sure. <clears throat> wow, Rona came back? I mean, this card's great. I'm just gonna take the Rona and we splash it off of the, uh, I'll just go with the Tefri because it's fun. Removal is actually pretty hard to come by. It's actually kind of weird. Sure. La da 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 da. The ten life druid dude does seem kind of good, just because you can play it early, and ten life is actually a good amount. So there's definitely there's definitely times where you're like pulling ahead. And then they play the Crossand Druid, and they gain 10, and you're like, oh, wow, I'm just way behind now. It's a very good, like, turn the corner card. Yeah, sure. Isolated Chapel. That's cool. That's what we want to see. I like Memorial of Genius. And that's pretty much all I like in this pack. Eh, this pack is not ideal. Knight of Malice is good, too. It just depends on what our splash color is, I guess. Maybe we're... No, we're definitely green. I have no idea what the pick is here. It's not, this pack is not great. <sighs> Best cards are like Call the Cavalry. <clears throat> Candle's not bad, but it's also not great. Thank you. Probably could just be Divination. <clears throat> Jojo MKE, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate the support. I almost think Memorial is better than Divination, but I don't know. I mean, Memorial's just a land, right? This is like this is basically a divination that you just <clears throat> play on the board. I think it's probably better than candle. I can probably get more candles. Oh, uh, Chainer's Torment is such a trap, I think. I want to take the Ancient Animus. Look, see, this is what I mean. Like the two drop slot is like very bare. It's it feels barren in this format. <clears throat> so if you're able to like get a bunch of two two drops, I think you're in good shape. Wow, we can have the 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 mono ult of Teferi deck. I'm just taking this uh, Tatiova. This card seems great, especially in our deck. Uh, double oath of Teferi. Seems good in a limited format. <coughs> Thran Temporal Gateway, huh? Well, that's probably not getting played. <coughs> Excuse me. Probably just taking Syncopate here. I do like Vidalion Arcanist because we can actually play it on two and it ramps us into Grow the Ashes. That's actually not terrible. I also don't hate Memorial, to be quite honest. It gets back anything like Tatsuova or Verdant Force or something. <clears throat> I also like Deathbloom Talad. I like one of these better, though, just because we don't have a lot of things to do on two. I think I'm just going to take Syncopate. I like Halar the Fire Fletcher, but we're obviously not playing it because it's red. <clears throat> I think it's just Corrosive Ooze here. I, I mean, this is like the worst. I think this is the worst one. Um, I think actually maybe it's just Syncopate. We can just syncopate them out. We if we also get the, another one of the one threes that tap for instance and sorcery, syncopate just gets better, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't like Lanawar Scout as a card, but I do like it as a one three for two. Maybe that's good enough. I don't know. I don't think it's Sage of Latinam. That card's terrible. I also don't think it's Primordial Worm here. I think I think Lanawar Scout's like the only playable card in this pack for us. <clears throat> we also have very few legendaries. We just have Rona and Tatiova. Tat Tatiova? S eh, this guy's good. Yeah, my Shepherd's great here. 
Is Spore Crown Thala just better, though? It might be Spore Crown just in case we get future. This also makes Sapperlings, and this is a 2-2 two -two for 2. I'm going to actually take the Spore Crown Thalad. Uh, how, many, how many wizards do we have? Probably like none, right? This doesn't seem very wizardly. I'm just going to take Pierce the Sky. And Blood Tallow Candle came back. Divination came back as well. Um, I think I want the Candle more than I want the Divination. Right? I actually don't know. I don't know. Um... Take the candle. Candle does something that I'm not sure we can replicate. Um, whatever. Take home homerid. It's a four mana wall. Hey, with the Tefri dot deck over here. Yeah, Flame Mikel dot deck over here. All right, we're doing good. Hey, Crossview is actually just fine. It's not great, but it's playable. <coughs> And Arbor Armament. Sure. We could have been the Teferi Tribal deck. Unfortunately, we don't have any Teferis. Yogmoth's Vile Offering. Well, that's a card we're probably going to play. If we're splashing for black, that's pretty good. We do have to control a legendary creature or planeswalker to cast it, but I imagine we can take those a little... It could just be Academy Journey Mage, too. That card's very good. What I like about this is you destroy a creature. It's not just like they sacrifice it. I also like Untamed Kavu. Last time I saw you with the Tefri, your opponent controlled it. That is correct. That was an unfortunate turn of events. Um, I think there's... Yeah, it's Untamed Kavu, Yogmoth's Vile Offering, or Academy Journey Mage. Um, I think the other two cards are stronger than the Kavu. I also don't hate Sapperling Migration. But I think this is going to be hard to cast. We only have two legendary cards that actually help us cast this. I'm going to take the Journey Mage. I'm not going to like it. Ooh, that's exciting. I kind of just want to take the Karn's Temporal Sundering. But this we might have the same problem where we don't control a legendary creature or planeswalker to do it. So it might just be we might just be journey maging for days. Which I think is actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna take Journey Mage again. How many journey mages can we get, you think? Tempest Gin actually seems pretty Pretty good for our deck, I guess. God, I wanted both those rares. I want the Yogmoth and the Karns, but unfortunately, we don't have nearly enough. We have two legendaries to trigger those. Uh, we don't have any wizards yet, unfortunately. But the but one we get one wizard begets another wizard, so that's pretty good, right? This is also not legendary, which is weird. Ui's always pretty good, but we don't actually have many creatures to take advantage of them. So. I actually like the Jin. Like Jin. Even if like I mean, even if you're playing it with mono blue, it's still a 3 3 for for three. I wish this was a different land, like a, like a woodland cemetery or something. But I understand. I understand why you're not. I get it. What I don't know is what Sulphur Falls are going for. Two tickets? Okay. That might be worth it. I, don't, I think it's better than, like, Glider and Relic Runner. I think Glider is an option, but...
I'm just taking the two tickets. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm not going to... I mean, we got... Probably Tetsuo Umizawa. And if any of the other two cards come back... Tetsuko Umizawa, rather. Um, and if any of the two cards come back, we can just... Uh, play them in hopes that we have enough legends. I'm now going to take the glider. Which is probably better than anything else in this pack. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. Exile a historic permanent you control. We don't have many. Exiling this, or Rona, or... Yeah, I don't think this guy, this card's that great. But it's like the only card in the pack that we actually care about. I'll just take Goblin Warchief, I guess. I don't know. Nah, we'll take this. Sure. If we get something good, it's... This is a, this is a good one. I do like an Academy Drake. Uh, I like another Grow from the Ashes, but I don't know if we'll play two in this deck. But I think it's better than a... S Actually, we have, we have an Envoy yet. We can play one Envoy. It also helps us cast the... Oh, that's, that's what we want to see. I think it's actually good enough now. Maybe. Like, I think having three legendary permanents is probably enough. Maybe. It's probably not, right? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yep, what's going on, buddy? Um, Relic Runner. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I'll take Lana War Scout out. Yeah, it isn't. Uh, there hasn't been jazz in my videos for probably three years now. <laughs> uh, and the reason is because you don't get new videos if you want jazz in there because of things like copyright laws. So... <clears throat> Spore Crown Thal is pretty bad in here because we're not actually pumping any Thalids, unfortunately. Um, ooh, Arcane Flight could be good. Black Blade doesn't count for Legendary Sorcery. No, it's just dudes and Planeswalkers. Yeah, if you control a Legendary Creature or Planeswalker, it doesn't matter if you control a uh, legendary sword. So the only things that would trigger it are Tetsuko, Rona, and Tatiova. I also missed the jazz. You guys are not alone there, but unfortunately, the videos get taken down or demonetized. So. <clears throat> no bueno. All right, we'll take Karn's Temporal, Minordal. Uh, I don't I don't know if I want two deep freezes in here. All right, so you're X, you're X, you're eight. You're probably a four. You're probably a four or five. You're an eight again. Uh, you're a seven. All right, so before we submit this, I'm going to actually open a pack. You guys ready? You better be ready, because I'm opening it right now. <clears throat> all right, here's our legendary, I think. Oh, all right, that's a good one. Ariel, Knight of Wind Grace. I don't know her name, that's why I had to read it, but I know the card does. So, I think that's also your rare. I don't think you can get two rares in these like you could in... Uh, and... Yeah, you can't. Okay. <laughs> So, yep, then we have Eldest Reborn, Sage of Latinam, and Juggernaut. I wish you could get two rares, like uh, like in the Transform cards, like the double face cards. Like you would get the, a rare double face card and a regular rare, whereas here could, you can get a rare legendary and a regular rare. I don't know why they didn't do that. Oh well. <clears throat> oh well. Uh, 24 cards, Relic Runner's good. Probably Corrosive Ooze, I would imagine. That seems like the cut. You're probably a five. Sex seems good though. I don't know. Foil? What are you asking here? What are you saying here, Sputnik? Is there a guarantee? There is one legendary in every pack, yes. There's a guaranteed legendary in every pack. Oh, why they didn't do that? Interesting. Ha 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 
<laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. It was a link to Pink Floyd's money video. That's pretty funny. Um... Yeah, I think this deck looks sweet. Um, I worry about our removal, but we do have a lot of cards that, like Black Blade Refours, that can go over the top. So, all right, one. I think one Swamp is more than enough. We have one, one Rona. We also have Landowar Envoy, and we have uh, Grow from the Ashes to help us with that. So seven, eight. That actually seems fine. We do have significantly more blue than green, but. We do have Triple Green Verdant Force and Triple Green Tempest Gin. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we can probably do 8-8. Eight, eight. We also have to take Grove from the Ashes, so... <clears throat> I don't think we're going below 8 islands. Like, or below 8... Actually, I see your point. I see your point, actually. With 8 islands, basic islands. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. All right. I agree. I reluctantly agree. <clears throat> My biggest problem with blue green in uh, in limited is that a lot of times you don't have enough removal. play first because <clears throat> I like doing that we'll keep this hand I actually someone so you guys you guys some of you guys complained on YouTube that um the fibblethip was in the way of the chat so I moved fibblethip down a little bit so hopefully that helps I'm actually gonna run mono islands until I actually don't need to because if we draw a gin in the first three turns let me just run that dude out there as a 3-3 three, three flyer. 3-4 three, flyer? That's pretty good. Reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Engines pumping and thumping in time. The green light flashes. The flags go up. <coughs> It's a good song. Oh, we definitely maneuver on Muscle for Frank. That's pretty good. Is this a wizard? Ah, oh, you stupid rogue. Ah, oh, you stupid rogue. I'm going to play this now in case we draw a four drop guy. Uh, the four drop Bayloth. That's double green. So we're just going to play everything perfect. And we're going to keep up the old, the old Syncopato. I don't care about that. You may have that. Um, now we're actually going to hold back. This is not a good trade. I'll block. <clears throat> Somebody touch my spaghetti. I'm going to block here. Because what else are you good for, Tetsuko? Is this where you get booped? Get a little boop. Are you going to deal three in my face? No, just a squee. Did you see that squee had one damage on it and then disappeared? That's weird. Look, where did the damage on these creatures go? What's even happening right now? 
Well, it's a lot of lands, so. <coughs> mm, bop your bop your friend. That's a big that's a big dude. We can uh put that dude in the deep freeze. Alright, this is a lot of lands. But I guess that's just life. <coughs> if we attack with Tetsuko, they they just attack with Squee, and it's not very good for us, so. Six cards in hand? Where do where'd all our cards go? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. <clears throat> this is for real. Look at all these lands, man. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands to four spells. <sighs> Typical Magic Online drafting. It never fails, you'll see. Something's happening. No, that's getting syncopated. <clears throat> uh, pay two. Get kicked on. <clears throat> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's just get islands here because we actually have a million greens, and uh, this just makes our gin bigger. So, did we play a land this turn? No, we can actually play a land too. Good lord. <clears throat> well, this is a lot of mana. There are only six lands in our 24-card 24, 24 deck, so 25% uh, chance of drawing a land. Yep. Are you cast a Sorg spell? Sure, mill us. You got it. Non-land. Well, all right. <clears throat> la, 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 We do have a, div we have a div divination in here, too, right? So. Oh, wow, the aggression is real here. Is there a way that they can just blow us out here? Is that thing? I'm very interested in what's going on. Block you. I guess block you and it'll take three. It's like a plus two, plus two to all your guys or something. Yeah, that's actually what I figured, which is why I blocked here. Sure. I actually assumed you had that. Here we go. Good cards. Verdant Force and Tempest Gin. <laughs> Actually, how much Thanks. damage does this deal? Fry Wilco, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Thank you for not being an annoying but intelligent, well spoken streamer person. Um I you're welcome. You're welcome. I'll attack you with my 15-15. Uh, I don't know. Mike was supposed to be here. Uh, we were supposed to be streaming together. But uh, we got home from... We just we went to lunch, me, Mike, and Felipe. And we got home. 
and Mike just disappeared and ghosted on me on Facebook and everything. So kind of annoying. Uh, we kind of had plans to go do that, but to stream that is, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? I will take that. <clears throat> Actually, we'll block. We'll block with the Academy Journeyman. I don't feel like having Skizix come, come at me. I, I seriously think you did go take a nap, which is kind of obnoxious because, like, you don't really need a nap after you go eat lunch, and that's all you did. Yep. All right. Well, 15-15. <clears throat> you got to find a flyer here or a way to bounce this guy, which you probably will. I bet you're going to have it. You're just going to... You only have three power on board. That's good. I feel safe. Can we win with a plus five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, plus eleven, plus eleven black blade? Probably not. This is why they're not conceding. <clears throat> he didn't even get turkey. He got a Reuben. Really? <sighs> Come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is gonna be seven and seven. We can't do both. Three, four, five, six. Sure. <clears throat> La Poison. Glad you can catch me live as well. Sure. Why not? So you had to have this guy. You had to have double Cloud Sphinx, and you had to have Blink of an Eye. You had to have all three of those cards in order to actually uh, win this game. Seems good. Seems good. Pierce the Sky can come in. Like, meanwhile, our outs were Ancient Animus, Ancient Animus, Blood Tallow Candle. Um, uh, Deep Freeze. Academy Journeyman number two. Uh, Syncopate would have also done it because we could have countered the... Um, so, any one of these cards... <clears throat> Six six cards. We couldn't we couldn't draw one of six cards. Uh while well, they were able to draw the perfect configuration, unfortunately. Hey, welcome to Magic the Gathering. Online. Alright. Anyway. <laughs> it's like, what are you gonna do? I would bring an unwind, but most of their stuff is yeah, well we literally had twelve lands out of seventeen, so you know, what are you gonna do? Sometimes you get twelve out of seventeen lands. Oh yeah, Tetsuko is actually a beast in this format. Like if you get like the three ones or the two ones or anything like that, like just making them all unblockable is pretty insane. Uh, this could also be insane if we hit a land. Uh, no standard brews yet. Uh, I may have some. If you guys haven't done so, check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash franklapore. And I'm going to be uploading actual articles 
and uh, deck lists and things there. So if you guys want to support either the stream or... I don't understand this game, dude. <laughs> like, it's the most, like... When Magic's bad, it's actually terrible. Like, uh, the first game I got to open, like, six spells, 12 lands, right? And this game I get two lands. Miss two land drops. Cool. Deck seems great, but... You know, you gotta be able to play your games first in order to actually, uh... Yeah, well, at least we get to single-pate something. <clears throat> It's just super frustrating. I don't even... I don't mind losing. I mind not being able to play. <sighs> like, losing's fine. I've lost plenty of times. I can be a, an extremely gracious loser. But I want to be able to at least feel like I can put up a fight. I want to be able to feel like I can put up a fight. I want to be able to... To feel like I'm able to put up a fight because I I because I'm able to acquire the resources necessary in the game that requires resources and uh, you know oh look we did it well this isn't a wizard and you can't deal two hey we got a four six. Watch us still win with just Tetsuko. I love, like, good close games. I, those are actually my favorite games ever. This is why when people, um, this is why people, when people ask me, like, what, do I hate gut shot or whatever? And, uh, they talk about that, that match at the Pro Tour, me versus Luis. Um, I have no negative feelings, no negative connotations about that match whatsoever. Because it was such a good game, right? Like, I never felt like I was out of it. I was never in a position where I, I didn't feel like I was playing or able to make strategic plays. Never felt that way. I literally um, felt like I was always in that game. And at the end, I came away and uh, felt felt great about the match. Like, it was kind of funny. Like, so I can kill this guy. <laughs> and now I just feel like we're, we're totally in this game, which is super interesting because... You know, we just complained about it, but I still don't think that, that invalidates the complaints, right? Just because we actually have an overpowered card on a very, very good uncommon um, doesn't mean... Proceeds to top deck? What does that mean? Is that like... I, don't, <laughs> like, I mean, I top deck a Pierce the Sky, which I don't even care about this card. We're at 16. And I top decked a land. <laughs> Is that a top deck? <laughs> you top deck the land. Look how good you are at Magic the Gathering. Um, I don't like. We can't play these. It's either Deep Freeze or Pierce, but Pierce is a little more limited. So I'm just gonna pierce this thing. Excuse me while I pierce this guy. <laughs> I I didn't think Forest was a top deck when you're literally. Is it a top deck when you're literally th when you miss three land drops? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. What can you do? I mean, against the blue-red deck, like, Tetsuko's pretty good because, like, they're, they're damage-based. I will take one. That's pretty rude. I'm actually tempted to bounce Tetsuko here, to be quite honest. Because we're not going to be able to equip anything for a couple turns. We can also just play Tempest Gin. And it's a 3-4. Hmm. How do you feel about other games that have guaranteed one land a turn like Hearthstone? I like them a lot. I enjoy Hearthstone a good deal. I enjoy Elder Scrolls Legends a good deal. Um, You know, those are. I think those games are great. And I, I have yet to see an issue with the one resource a turn... Um, system right like it doesn't it doesn't i don't think it hinders deck building oh it's target creature and opponent controls we can't even bounce with uh with journey mage so i'm just gonna play Jin here it's still a pretty efficient clock if we draw an island it's a two turn clock so that is the, the largest Tetsuko Umizawa I've ever seen. 
That is a 5-7 wall. I see. I see. Well, now I wish we had Broken Bond. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Alright. This guy doesn't have tramps? Man. Man. So, I'm just going to play Gorger here. Cast the Whip Kicker? Can't do that. Don't counter this. You have two cards in hand? All right. Okay. Okay. I think, okay, so agreed. I think having resources in your deck gives you an interesting... I, I think that does explore an interesting design space. I don't think the rewards for exploring that design space are necessarily worth the amount of games you're simply unable to play. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does because it was just a pretty common, uh, it was a pretty self-explanatory statement. Huh, interesting. Well, we're just going to play Journeyman here. We don't get to keep up Syncopate, but that's fine. We get to play Gorge. We get to get to get in there with a Gorger. Um, and don't get me wrong, I love lands. Like, I love being able to pick my lands. I love being able to play different dual lands. I like lands that do things. But here's the thing about lands that do things, right? So, in a typical 60-card deck, 60-card magic deck, you have 36 cards that do something and 24 cards that are lands. So, you want to make your lands do things, so you have more than 36 cards that do things. Um, in a typical Elder Scrolls Legends deck... You have 50 cards that do things and zero lands in your deck. In a Hearthstone deck, you have 30 cards that do things and zero cards that don't. You know, so it's like it, it, having having lands that, that does things, that do things, is awesome. But you almost have to have that. Or else you literally have a 50% of your deck that does nothing and 50% that does something. It's a very interesting dynamic. Let's just play Relic Runner. And pass... We could attack with this, and they just replace Squee. Like, Squee is kind of obnoxious here. <coughs> I'd rather just keep up Syncopate and uh, get to a point where we can equip the Black Blade to something. All right, well, that's annoying because if we just bounce this guy and then they just cast Squee next turn, he doesn't even come to play Tapped or anything. And even if we Deep Freeze it, they can still just block with him and then do it. One Sonster, congrats, buddy. Nicely done. So, Le Poison, that's definitely the, the the excuse Mark Rosewater uses, right? Like, uh, that magic is a game where anyone can win. No one sits down at a table, uh, you know, and, and like, oh, you can get mana screwed against John... F Mon John Fingal can get mana screwed against you, and you can beat... Even the newest player can beat the best player in the world, but that's not untrue in a game like Hearthstone, right? Like, it just it's not the resource system that does that, right? And... You know, any game that has a random, like, card drawing system, you can still draw in the wrong order. Like, you can still, if me and John Finkel sit down against Hearthstone, he could have, like, 8-drop, 9-drop, 10-drop in his opening hand after mulliganing and still going to lose. Like, I mean, I think that's just a way that they use to defend, the, the like, like the, a land system that is locked into the game. So, yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily think that's, like, uh, I, that seems disingenuous. It seems like it's a. I mean, I don't. I don't think it's wrong. I think. It, I think it is a, a way that uh, that new players can win against more skilled players. I think that's one hundred percent true. Um, but the fact is, that's not the only way that that happens. And to say that the land system is a benefit because of that, I think that's. I think that's. I think that's pretty flowery. I think that's some flowery language. Uh, I haven't played I haven't played Eternal, so I don't actually know. Uh, I played like one game. I played I loaded up Eternal and then I couldn't I, I didn't get to play a game, um, which is not it's no it's no um, that's it's no reflection of the game itself. It's just a matter of like it's hard to play this many games. <laughs> oh my god, this is getting annoying. All right, now we're just gonna keep going. What up, G Milk? Uh, 
Um, yeah, two deep, two deep freezes is pretty good against us. Uh, I wish I had, like, this is also frustrating because we just can't find a way to lock out the game. Our hand is full of good stuff though. Like, they're gonna have to do a lot of things to get through our double deep freeze syncopate journey mage hand. So. La -da -da. You can have that. That is not a thing we care about. Do you think the Lich combo deck survival in standard? I haven't seen any Lich combo decks in standard, so... Uh, well, we can't equip this guy yet because we only have six mana, not seven. So that's not that's not a legal play, unfortunately. I mean, it will be eventually, I imagine, but nope, not getting that. How's three sound? Is that good? Uh, I can't think of any solution to the mana base problem in Magic the Gathering that uh, would not m make it a different game, right? Like, you, there's no way to do it and not invalidate the 25 years of Magic that came before. It's just not possible to do. That is my opinion on that. All right, well, now we can equip this. To you. <clears throat> How big is this? Pretty big? Hey, that's pretty big. Do you have Shivan Breath? Is that your one card? One of your three cards? It always is. It wasn't there. Okay, so four, five, six, seven. You cannot kill this. I guess you just block with a squee. And, uh, but then it, it does force you to replay the squee, which is fine. Oh, I think the mana issue is just part of magic. It doesn't make the game any less good. I think it does. I think it actually does make the game less good. Um, I don't think it makes it less good... Uh, to a degree that matters, but I think it definitely makes the game less good. Um, I think there are significant times I walk away from a game of Magic feeling utterly frustrated that I either couldn't play uh, or I didn't have any spells to play because I drew three spells and 12 lands. Like, those games are not fun. And I can't think of... I think I've had this... <clears throat> I've had this discussion before, so I apologize if you guys on Twitch or YouTube are, are rehearing it. Um, but I can't think of any other games where you sit down to play and you actually don't get to. Where you're like, I didn't get to play that game. I watched my opponent do things and I had a hand that could do things, but then didn't do things. And so I watched you play and then I conceded and then I left. And I can't think of any other games that are that, that are, that are like that. You know what I mean? It's a very weird quality, right? And I, yeah, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> um, I like I said, I think the game is good. I, oh, they're gonna blink. They're gonna blink this guy. That's fine. Uh, I disagree. With lands hundred percent pretend they had a complexity that just didn't seem. I uh, what manner of play matters and should matter. And I don't argue. It is objectively better than other. I don't. I don't agree with you. Uh, it adds the element of mana denial. For I mean, like okay, so you're saying that out of a flawed system. Uh, perks came out of it. Uh, it adds elements of mana denial, forward focus, and what colors you have to get. And that's fair. Every player gets through. I don't think um, because something makes something else more complex that the ex that, that I don't think that justifies the existence of a thing. Does that make sense? I hope it does because again, that was pretty straightforward. Um, just because you have like that's I think those are silver linings, if anything. And you're just like, well, you know. Uh, you can get that in Hearthstone, actually, where you just draw into high-cost hand and can do literally nothing all the point. Yes, but here's the point, Purple Haze. You can do that in Magic as well. So so the thing is, you have this, you draw late cards and your opponent beats you down with early cards in Hearthstone. And you have you draw late cards and your opponent beats you down with early cards in Magic. And then there's also, I didn't get any lands or I got too many lands in Magic. So, like... <laughs> you're right that it's it's true in both games but the other thing isn't true in both games so like you're i mean it's it's just it's kind of like a false equivalency in that like you can't really compare these two things because magic has an extra thing that these other games don't have and again i just want to be clear i'm not bashing magic in any way i just feel like this is a a worthy topic so this squee is surprisingly obnoxious so, like, while you're worrying about, you know, uh, your your big guys doing one thing and this other thing and, like, you're not playing early guys, 
Um, you're also worrying about that in magic. So, you know. I mean, if, if Arena... Or I didn't know Arena guarantees you lands. That's really awkward. Uh, not only is that awkward, but like... That almost feels... Like, that feels wrong. Okay, that's fair about the not getting into play. Um, but it's never a resource issue is the problem. You're never like, oh, I didn't have my resources, right? Is Frank short for Franklin or Francis? It is not. It is not short for either of those. Um, <sighs> Journeyman is four. One, two, three, four. So we can actually play Journeyman and replay Relic Runner. I guess that's good. We could just play Drake and Relic Runner, and then they have two cards in hand, man. Hearthstone does have cards that do things at random, but they're not trying to be magic in that way. Like, they're, that's actually, um, that's intentional, right? Like, that's not like, it's not like, uh, it's not like an accident. It's, it's, it's because they like that random, that random nature. So, <clears throat> I actually don't think Hearthstone is way more RNG heavy than Magic. I definitely don't think that, especially when you consider uh, Mana Screw and Mana Flood. I think there are a handful of cards that are random, but uh, I think those cards are way exaggerated. Um, we're at 12. I just don't want to die. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4. I think it's actually Relic Runner, Keep Up, Animus, Deep Freeze. Let's see if I can kill this thing. <clears throat> One, two, Relic Runner, my shoe. Three, I don't want to play Drake here. Well, actually, it doesn't matter because we can just equip it, so we'll just play it. Yeah, all right. Well, that's pretty good. Next time we could play at Verdant Force. Man, I wish I had a way to return my Tetsuo. I also think Unwind might be good enough here. <clears throat> they have a ton of... Uh, a ton of things. Also, this could be good, but it only exiles Historic Permanence. So, like, if they happen to put a Brain Freeze... Brain Freeze? Deep Freeze? On uh, Tetsuko, then we can blink it. But... I'm surprised we won that. Like, we were bemoaning our mana screw, but, I mean... What do you know? You get you get you get you get mana. You get resources. You can play your magic games. So I don't know. It's a beautiful thing. It is a three three flasher. That's not wrong. I just think we have plenty of five drops. I don't really think we need more expensive things. Um, I do like rescue. Surprisingly. Oh, that's so awkward that I like it as much as I do. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We also have to cut something. I actually don't know what to cut. Maybe we cut Deep Freeze of our own because their creatures just aren't that great. And we also have Double Animus. Maybe we can cut one Animus. Our guys are kind of tiny. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll actually add Unwind. We'll add uh, Rescue. The Shuffle generates two starting hands and gives you whichever one is close to your land spell bounce. That's weird. Oh, this is a... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like this hand a lot. Turn two, Tetsuko... Turn three Tempest Gin with a rescue in hand. That seems good. And a forest on the top. <laughs> oh, like you do. Uh, do you want to get pizza for dinner? I think you always want to get pizza for dinner. Um, that's my that's my theory. But you know, what do I know? Come and get me, Tetsuko. I mean, Kaneda. Come and get me, Kaneda. Tetsuko!
Since they added the scry and mulligan, they fixed a big problem of losing bet. I agree with you. I think the scry, I think the scry and mulligans helps a lot. Wow, that is a that is a that is a shining star. Um, I guess we're just gonna hope you don't have another another academy journey mage, but you know, fingers crossed. If you win, I will sing. Uh, I I assume that's ninety nine. Uh, in is that German? I assume that's German. Is this what we're doing here? Do I just trade? This feels like a fine trade, but I think we can just take three. And next turn we can grow from the ashes, get another island, and get a swamp arena. Keep up this. Oh, that's a big. That's a big fatty. I'm uncomfortable with that guy's existence. Kickerino. <clears throat> Three, four. Or do we just want to get double island here? This is our only green source, so. Eh, whatever. How am I liking the format? I'm liking it a lot, actually. I think it's good. I think we just pass and double block here. I don't think we're racing this guy. I'll be honest with you guys. Like, we're dealing four a turn. They're dealing five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That seems terrible. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Magic would be a completely different game if you had a, land, a deck of lands and a deck of spells. Like, it actually wouldn't be playable in its current iteration because you would have decks like mono red and they would draw two lands and then literally draw spells for the rest of the game. It's an, it's an idea that comes up every time this discussion is had and it's just not viable. I'm going to block four, five, seven. We're just going to block here and hope you don't have anything that blows us out ever. And they always have it. Never. Oh, all right. Well. Sure. <clears throat> I'm going to save everything. Everything's getting, everything's coming back home tonight. I'll take three. You got it. Wish that guy had flight. Um, okay, this is pretty good. We can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We could kick this guy. Kick it! I thought all lands should have two mana cycle. Actually, that's a that's a suggestion I made way back in the day, uh, when they were considering implementing the scry rule. Thank you. Um, Demat, Dima Matt, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the sub. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. That was a suggest suggestion I made because it's like two mana scry is low enough that uh, that it, it can dig you out of things like flood. But it's also like it incentivizes you to play more lands because you know in the late game if you're drawing lands you actually have things to do. Um, the problem is if they have something else to deal with this, I think we're just going to play it and we're going to play this and we're going to play this <clears throat> and pay the mana, please. And that is a nine eleven, nine eleven confirmed guys, nine eleven confirmed. Please don't have an answer. You have four cards. I'm sure they can't all be good. They're probably three lands and a squee. Or it's a bounce spell and you put us to 10. One of the two. 
Even if you have deep freeze, it's still actually just fine. Yep, that's actually fine. 812 defender is still pretty, pretty sizable. And we get to gain 10 next turn. So I think we're actually okay here. Deep freeze is actually fine. I just want to be able to stabilize here. And that did it. Once you put the deep freeze on this guy, uh, we get to a point where we know you're not going to do anything else to it, right? You're not going to waste a, another card getting rid of it, so... So now we have an answer to a flyer, we have an answer to the ground, and we have a flyer of our own. And another flyer of our own. Two, three, four, five. <coughs> so now we have double flyers of our own. And the game... Uh, we'll put you on top, and I will surprisingly put you on the bottom. Oh, Genie. Oh, Genie. Tempest Genie. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, fire elementals all day. None of them get through the 812. Do, 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 do. I kind of just want to attack with with normal guys now. And by normal guys, I mean 3-4 and 3-4. We're going to actually gain 10 here. <sighs> 10 life is so insane, dude. I'm actually... This deck seems sweet. I don't know how good this deck is, but it seems good. That guy is... That guy's almost worse than a vanilla, right? Like, so a Rampaging Cyclops is a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four in red that actually has a drawback when it's blocked with two or more creatures. There's the green guy. Thank you. Sal Randon, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. Thank you. Um, then there's the green guy. That's a 4-4 four, for four, 4, but it has an upside, which you can kick. So it's really, uh, you can really see the di the interesting dynamic between red creatures and green creatures. We actually have five minutes. Where's our time going in these games? Are they dead? No, I don't think they're dead. We're just going to attack for six and <clears throat> give them another turn. We have answers for everything, so. I don't trust whatever they could have. I don't want to, I don't want to re-equip this to someone and then have them, like, blink of the eye it or something, so. <clears throat> oh, time has gone into discussions of game design and resource systems. That's 100% true. I think they just have to attack here. Yeah, this is pretty much as you'd expect. So we take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's fine. <clears throat> oh, Gina. Oh, we just win the game. All right, good games. That was great. That was a so that was a solid match. What do we want to do? We want to change anything? Have we learned anything? Um, Pierce is a great sideboard card. Rescue is an insane sideboard card. Unwind is good. I don't think we want to use the main deck though. I think they were great in that matchup, but I think we're good. I will play first. I will keep this hand. Relic Runner and a Blade Blade Rift. Black Blade is pretty good, but I mean, we're not going to be able to equip it anytime soon. Whatever. Is it worth it to splash black? Yes, because there's no real downside. Uh, we have the Elf that helps. We have one Swamp and we have Grow the, grow the Ashes. And Rona's actually... Oh, that's pretty good too. Oh, that's actually just bonkers, right? What is this error? Uh, it happens all... It's I don't know. It's been going on for like a couple weeks now, so. <clears throat> womp, 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 womp. I'm pretty sure playing this and equipping it is just more damage than getting a trigger off of Relic Runner, so. And they also can't Vicious Hunger this guy yet, so that's pretty nice. <coughs> oh, 
Yeah, this is pretty. Un this is pretty unbeatable, I think. Uh, it's not. It's no longer unbeatable. They just killed it. And that's the saddest day of my life. I. I've made terrible mistakes. Why aren't any of these things wizards? None of these things are wizards, man. What are you guys talking about in chat right now? <laughs> you guys are being ridiculous. This is why I can't take you guys anywhere. <coughs> um, I'd love to equip this, but, you know, reasons. You know, are you, why are you all rogues? There's so many rogues in this format. I also have two five drops in my hand. I could Animus here, but I don't think that ends the way we want it to. I could also just Deep Freeze this idiot, which I guess we're fine with. <coughs> Does that become a 3-7? 2-6? Okay. That was one off. Oh, we'll attack it. Yeah, we're not doing that. Land? Oh, it's a card that benefits from lands. That's pretty good. Alright, well you just played a bunch of things. And... Hey, remember that conversation about resources we had earlier, guys? <coughs> Me too. Me too. Well, Frank, if your deck had less five drops in them... <laughs> Touche, random Twitch viewer. That only exists in my mind. Touche. Touche, as it were. Well, I'm going to block you because I don't see the benefit of letting you have that guy on the board. Land. And that is not a land, but it is a guy we can play right now. So we're going to do that. We're going to play him. And it's not a wizard either. It's a druid. <coughs> You can't take me anywhere, Frank, because we live as far apart as you can get without me being in Alaska. Where do you live? Neros, where are you located, buddy? Yo, Neros, where are you at, boy? Um, I guess we're going to get... I'm not going to wait to cast this next turn. That just seems dumb. <coughs> I will, however, get a forest because we do need... Uh, I want to keep a green up for ancient animals. <laughs> it's called the animus, not animals. Oh, good times, good times. Yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, this makes it so they can't actually do their their escalation here. God, that's annoying though. I don't think we have anything super great in our in the and I don't think either graveyard has really a bunch of Great cards. Hopefully we'll just draw a land here that we can discard pretty easily. Oh, it's the one land I want to keep. I see. So I guess we're just going to play you and play the land and then try to draw a, a less exciting land. Yeah, it's discardable. One, two, three, four. We also have six mana, so we can actually equip this Mega 10-10 next turn, which seems pretty good. I mean, Deep Freeze seems worse than both of these, so... <clears throat> kid just called they need their homework right now what does that even mean do you have did you steal some kids homework come on neros it's not okay man get it together do you have an answer for my tatiova that's sad don't do that oh 
technology. <clears throat> I'm gonna open this calculator. You might see it. Pew. Yep, that's they never don't have it. Sacrifice an artifact and deals four damage to target creature. You just teleport to it. All right, whatever. Whatever, nerd. One, two, three, four, five. Well, this guy's gonna. This guy's gonna do a number. Oh, uh, yesterday was actually the first Dominaria draft we did. We can bottom you, and we'll keep you on top. Today is our second Dominaria draft. I guess you can get this back, which is pretty good. Ugh. No, they left it at home. So you just go to random kids' house and bring them their homework. God, that is. Yep. I'll play a land. My hand is full of them. Now I can draw cards for all my lands. I like Academy Journeyman bouncing our Tatiova. That's pretty gas. Why aren't you a Sphinx wizard? You're making me scry. That's wizardly. Why can't you just be a... Be a wizard, too? You're a wizard, Cloud Reader Sphinx. That's how Haggard sounds in the Harry Potter films. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of those. They're cult classics. Might have to sneeze. <coughs> I did. I did indeed have to sneeze. Don't. Come on. Just stop it. Did they deal... Wait. What? Did they... What? Did they kick that? Oh, because they dealt some to me, too. All right. I got you. I got you. Come on back home. <clears throat> Just because you are now in possession of the child does not make them yours. Ooh, boy. Good Lord. <clears throat> oh, a dread shade. I see. That is problematic. <laughs> this guy's pretty problematic. Kind of wishing I had this other deep freeze at this point, but <sighs> do we just equip? How much? What are we dealing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eleven damage. They have to block. They can attack back for three, four, six, seven, eight. They can also just end of turn get back a guy. They can get back something stupid and play that. Like a journey mage. <clears throat> I guess we can play the one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can actually play this and equip it. Which is pretty good. I'm a fan of that. Oh boy, we're having a good time now. Pass. <clears throat> Did it. Nailed it. Sputnik! <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation, man. 99 Luff Balloons to you too, my good friend. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Oh, Genie. What are, who sings this song? This Oh Genie song? I want to try to figure it out. Hold on. It's an Elton John song. I knew it was an Elton John song. Dang. I knew it. How did he know? I don't know. He just knows things. He's a smart guy. What are you going to do? <clears throat> Go Hong. I love that you knew that. That's fantastic. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just traded with this guy. 
Otherwise, you take a million, so. Oh. I don't know what just happened. Are they going to... I don't know what just happened. That's a fat walrus. <laughs> All right. That was a weird choice. I don't know why they attacked with this dread shade into my 11-11, but... And they milled this guy, which is good. And haphazard bombardment. Ooh. What is happening? Rares dot deck. Oh, I but that just still doesn't make any sense though, right? Like you get it back, but like I don't know if that's really better. Oh, we need a green for that guy. <clears throat> Thank God us the green screen is back to normal and the camera angles. I know, right? It was rough. I have a hard time, uh, I have a hard time dealing with situations like that when they're not, when they're out of my element, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you're got, you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. So I have to syncopate, you're going to spend three. So you have seven left over, so we have to syncopate for eight. <laughs> we can't do that, so it does have haste. <clears throat> I mean, we swing for 11, they just get rid of Confessor. But I think it's still... I think I think we're in I think we're in block mode right now, to be honest with you. Until we can get this Verdant Force online. <clears throat> I think I do want to keep up Syncopate. But I also want to keep up Blockers, because other guys get haste. So they can just play uh, the other guy. They can, they can play Shade here and uh, attack with it immediately, which is... Problematic to say the least. This guy's annoying, but whatever. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. <clears throat> the other guy you have counterspell for? No, we don't actually. Because, like, it, they spend three to, to play it, and they still have seven mana up. So we have to syncopate for eight, which means we need nine mana. Four, five, six, and we only have eight. So. If they actually played it uh, this turn and nothing else, we wouldn't actually be able to syncopate it. So that is not how that works, unfortunately. <coughs> yep. So four, five, six, seven, and we have four, five, six, seven. So we cannot syncopate. This guy we can. Yeah, we'll probably syncopate that. What do they got? Five. I just want, don't really own. Do they have any wizards, actually? That's a warrior. That's a cat warrior. That's a human cleric wall. I think I actually just rather draw cards here. I don't think I care about this. You can have that. That's totally fine. <clears throat> so is Black Blade any good? Yes, it's very good. At least that's my opinion. I don't know. Some people could be like, oh, it's too slow or, you know, whatever. But I'd rather just draw cards because if we hit a land... And it's a green land. All right. <clears throat> Tetsuko Umizawa. We get to hit another thing. Oh, Tempest Gym. We got five, six, seven, eight mana. <clears throat> she blinded me with science. Burnt. Burnt. This is actually pretty good. So we can actually... They have one card in hand. I think I feel pretty good about just playing Tempest Gin here. Um, playing Rona. Exiling Tetsuko. And then just playing Tetsuko here. <coughs> Would you like to use this ability? Yeah. Uh, cast Tetsuko. That seems good. This is where they're like, play the card that makes your team can't block, kill you. And I'm like, oh, that's good. I didn't know you had that. I didn't know that was a thing to have. But I feel like we're in good shape here, so. <clears throat> I'm 
Can we get one stupid forest so we can play this Verdant Force? Come on, man. Ain't no party like a Verdant Force party, because a Verdant Force, Force party happens on both players' turns. Uh, both your turn and your opponent's turn. Nailed it, and we get to draw a card and gain a life from that? Good lord. I feel like now we can attack with Tatiova. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can play you, and that's pretty much it. Is this draft tempo or control? You mean the format? I don't know. Or the deck. I don't know either. I don't know any of your questions. I wish just you can equip this at instant speed. Then we can attack with Tetsuko. And, uh, you know, do a thing that... Do a thing that, that you want, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying right now. You guys... It's complicated. <clears throat> Cast non-land cards exiled with Rona. That's pretty good. Yep, figured you just block there. We have to get it off the board at some point. Oh! Oh my god. Are you going to try to trade? Doesn't seem great. Do you have another one of these guys in hand? Is that your last card? So five. Oh, no, you're just going to actually do some nonsense. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's fine. This guy's going to go to the back of the bus. Then we're going to deal nine and three. Five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana, so we can counterspell for we can single pay for eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if they play anything that costs three or more. Yeah, that seems good. Why not make it cost zero and have affinity too? Uh I think those are good ideas, Zaxor. I don't see why uh I don't see why they wouldn't do that. All right, put you in the front, and then you in the other front, and then you in the other front. So many, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And that means you have to actually spend a million mana to get this dude back this turn. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Trading both of these guys for a for a three three is pretty solid. Do they have a second Garna? I don't know if they do. I guess we'll find out if they tap their last black. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, So they're going to play... We can Cinco for one here. One, two. So we're going to play Glider. And equip uh, this to Tetsuko, probably. Yeah, we're going to make sure they don't get that back. <clears throat> Second Garn is pretty strong. I'm just going to tap out for it because YOLO. That's pretty good. Oof. Do we know if that bit special is still going on? I don't actually know. Oh. Oh, that's sad. Now we have to deal with Windgrace Acolyte. Or we just have to win. What did they get back? Uh, shade. My god, so many shades, dude. <coughs> Um I 
I mean, they have one card in hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll have ten mana, so we can play this for eight and still keep it up for one. Um, play a land. So... So it was plus 10, so we can actually deal you 12, and then you... I mean, I was going to put it on here and make it a two-turn clock. But, I mean, I don't think I don't think this is correct. I kind of like just equipping here. Five, six, seven, and then we have three mana to, like, syncopate. But what can you do? <clears throat> uh, sword can go on anybody. Yeah, we should have attacked with glider. I don't know why we didn't attack with glider there. I always forget that. Yeah, keep the glider back for blocks. Good play. Uh, no, I just forgot. I, I don't. Yeah, make a shitty comment. Good play. Um, I don't care about this. What is a dude? Whatever, it's fine. I agree with the um. I agree with the holding back the verdant force uh, equals physical pain. All right, no cards in hand. So, all right, well. Yeah, we need to put just put it on the glider. Like we need to close out this game. We should have done that last turn. Where is where did the card? Oh, it's underneath. Oh, that's pretty good. <clears throat> that's also pretty pretty good. I would say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Journey, journey, wizard! Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. So now they have to block this guy next turn, and we know one of their two cards. So. They kind of have to play the blocker, and uh, uh, we didn't attack with Tetsuka because we're at seven, and uh, I want to keep back blockers. Like this is this is lethal enough. Like this is going to be a two-turn clock no matter what, and if they put a guy in the way, like the one damage isn't going to be relevant. So I'd rather just make sure we have enough blockers to not die. Yep, milling Cyclops land land. Okay. Oh, look at that. See, and this is still lethal, so they got a block. Yep, seems good. <clears throat> and now we're just keeping syncopate up because that's how you win the game. This is where they alpha because boy, do they have nothing left. Oh, just this guy. Are you just trading? That was intriguing. All you do is pump it one time. So we have 6, 12 mana, so we can sink up for 10. They have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. So anything that costs 2. We can counter. 
Yeah, this card is pretty bonkers. Uh, the equip cost to non-legendary guys is expensive, but boy, there was no stop at my price. Um, um, no, doesn't matter. You're either gonna see both guys or one guy. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll six it. Still activate Rona if we want to. They have no cards in hands. I think they just want to see the last two cards, which is fine. <clears throat> I mean, would it matter if there was a stop? Not really. You, you you get to keep your guy, but then die to the glider. So, I'd rather you not know about this. Seems good enough, right? <clears throat> um. Up <laughs> thirty black shirts. Oh boy. Oh good times, good times. That's a lot of black shirts, man. I have similar wardrobe. <laughs> uh we didn't see any equipment, so I don't think corrosive ooze. We saw like one flyer, I guess. Nah, just all my band tees. <laughs> Some of them are vintage. I don't know if you guys. I kind of like unwind here. I could see unwind making the, making the making the cut. It doesn't counter creatures, but you know what are you gonna do? Sometimes you don't counter some creatures. That's life, man. Sometimes life is just not countering them creatures. Cyber's a little bear. Sentinel is the only card worth considering. We want it over Force. Sentinel. I don't even know what that is. What is what is Sentinel? Oh, Sentinel for over over Force. I definitely not. Definitely not. You're out of your mind. Verdant Force is OP. Just because we didn't play it last game doesn't mean anything. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think Sentinel's that great. Like, it just blocks the 3-2. Like, all our guys are 3-2s three and 3-3s. Three and we don't have that many historic permanents to blink and uh, that aren't that relevant. <laughs> sure, Frank, out of my... Okay, well, I mean... Uh, we didn't see that much removal, so I'm not too concerned with rescue here. And one of the removals was a uh, a sacrifice effect, so yeah, we'll keep this. <coughs> Got turn two, turn three, and a syncopate. Uh, exhibit A would be the last game, which game? I mean, like, okay, if your exhibit is one one game, um, and I think it would have actually been safe to play the uh, the Verdant Force at any point. We just erred on the side of caution, um, but I don't think that means I don't I don't think that has any bearing on the quality of the card in this matchup. I think being able to throw out chump blockers, especially when our opponent has a card uh, like Dread Shade, is pretty pretty versatile. Pretty useful. Um, I'm gonna risk this for the biscus, biscus, and assume they don't have uh, swamp dread shade. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's fine. I accept. Oh, and now we're in sad sad world. Well, any swamp or any uh, any any forest is. It's really where we want to be right now in life. <clears throat> Abiscus is a uh, is a it's a disc biscuit. I'm just gonna counter you because you're annoying. 
forest right on the top. That's where I keep my forests. Boom. It wasn't a forest, guys. I'd also take a swamp. That's That would be nice. I'll take a swamp. We play Rona. Uh, and then we can just equip next turn for 6-6. Six, six. Also, forest turns into a swamp, so that's pretty good. That's a nice transformation. Well, they said this one will be quicker. I don't know if that they meant because they were mulliganing. Hey, look at that. Fashionably late to the party. <clears throat> well, we cannot we can just play Lanawar Envoy. Uh and then next turn ideally get a land for grow. Yeah, we're just going to do that. <coughs> Seems fine. That is a good deal. Uh, it's only a simulation sometimes, unfortunately. Land? Why Why are you the way that you are? That's what I don't understand. Well, I guess we have to grow from the ashes now. For a black, maybe? Maybe. Probably. So now we can take six, go to five... They have one card, though, so not terrible. They're probably just going to play one of their two uh, three threes with haste and then attack for nine. But just to. Nope, maybe not. All right. We have survived. All right. We are alive. For all the good it does. I don't know if it does any good. Probably just Sphinx here. Could bounce this guy, but we can't block either. The problem is they both have a... Uh... Fighting the Menace wouldn't do anything because this guy's not getting a plus one, plus one counter. Like, it's not legendary, so it's you can't fight a 3-3 three, three with a 2-1. That is not... We can fight here. But, like, I'd rather just have this guy deal with that. Any lands we'll keep. Uh, bottom you. Top you. You know, Glider, you're really getting a minor. Can you just have nothing? Just nothing. Just have nothing. That's all we want. Just have nothing. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Journeyman. Oh, and you had, you had something. I asked you to have nothing, and then you had something. So... Sometimes that's life. Sometimes life is you having something when I ask you to have nothing. All right. Well, what do about stress in your life? Weed, alcohol, spaghetti. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't drink and I don't smoke. So neither of those. I don't think spaghetti is a great uh, cure for stress. Um. I think being productive is probably my cure for stress. Like, if I'm stressed out about something, I just keep moving. And not, like, physically moving, but, like, I, I, I keep trying to, to do more and uh, be more productive. I feel like that's a good way to, to combat it. It kind of takes your mind off things. And it makes you feel like you're making progress. <clears throat> but... I don't know. I think it's different for everybody, too, so... Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. It's pretty unimpressive, but we'll see. We'll see how things go. We can go triple uh, triple island at first into Dijin. Land is what I was looking for there. 
Rising Temporal Center in the deck is an extra turn. Uh, it's it's definitely busted, but we only have two or three legendary creatures, so our odds of actually playing it are slim. If only it was just if it was just a time warp, I I could definitely see playing it. I would hundred percent play it, um, but it is not. So, wow, this is a nice slow game. I hope they don't have an answer for our Black Blade Reforge, but I don't think they do. How do they not have a creature yet? I don't have a creature either, but that's not a good one. I'm going to get an island and a forest. I want to maximize islands for, uh, <clears throat> what's his name? Dijin, but I also want to make sure I have three forests for Verdant, Verdant Force. So that when I get home, she's in the kitchen with onions. Wow. Yeah, I can only wonder how many people have tried to cast legendary sorceries and have been unable to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play this guy as a four four, but it's it's problematic because there's a lot of deal four or five damage in this format for this kind of cost. I'd almost like to wait a turn because then we can at least play it an animus something like this. I think it's probably just better to play candle this turn and kill your your big idiot. <clears throat> oh, the old watching at lunch and the and the after lunch coden. I'm a fan. If you have plus three plus three, I'd be amazed. Uh <laughs> mm. We'll open a, another pack after this round. I feel like this draft has taken a while. These rounds have gone slower than modern cube for crying out loud. Get it together, rounds of. Oh, that guy's good. Land. Is it weird that I actually want to land here? <laughs> I guess we can deep freeze that guy and not care. God, why do you have six cards in your hand, though? What is the card you hope to open most in that pack? Uh, Karn. 1,000% Karn. Preferably foil Karn. But, uh... I'm pretty sure I block here. I would 100% trade with this guy. Rather than go to 11? Definitely. If we can hit a land here, we can go Academy Drake and then kill this thing. Which I'm okay with. Come on, one time, one time, one time, one time. Yes. All right, sweet. So that means they just have to deal with this on their turn. <clears throat> yep. Seems good. Well, we have no cards in hand, so uh, get wrecked, I guess. <laughs> well, it's okay. I'll just kill your guy. Then I'll reanimate your best flyer. 
Yep. This is looking pretty bad, unfortunately. Yep. That, unsurprisingly. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Well, I guess they either get like a... They, I guess they could just get Wind, get Wind Grace Acolyte back here. None of the other cards are that good. Academy Drake's only a 2-2. Tempest Gin is a 0-4 for them, so... Uh, why no equip? Because it costs 7 to equip. It is not 3 to equip. It's only 3 to equip a legendary creature. <clears throat> oh, well, light with another fight with fire in the graveyard. What's a Shauna? I don't even know what a Shauna is. <clears throat> I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what you're saying. Oh, weather light. Oh, an island. Seems good. Seems very good. Well, we had a good game. Well, I'm just going to open this pack now, because we have no vested interest in this game anymore. <laughs> it's pretty easy to crew here and then attack for 8, go to 5, and we have no real answer to this. Yep. Oh, I need to look at a, look at a thing? That's pretty good. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. That's great, but we're still dead to your flyers. So, what can you do? All right. Good game turned into a game where you just get infinite lands. All right, and what is it? Not a Karn? I didn't even get to see. Hold on. i got to put the thing up so I can see what I look at. And it's a... It's an Edelie's the Cinder Wind. Sure, that's fine. Whatever. And this is not a Karn at all. It's a First Eruption. So... Cool. <laughs> it's just not not an exciting card i'm sorry um and we got sorcerer's one Kelden raider and memorial to folly so okay well that's that's great that's great all right well let's see if we can two one this this bad boy Yeah, this is fine. <clears throat> well, those are all cards that existed in Magic. Yep, 100% true. 100% true. Uh, we'll open another after this round. We're going to keep playing for that. Oh, I got so excited that I just did that. <clears throat> I'm going to run this out there on turn one. I'm not usually one to do that in case we draw like Relic Seeker Finder. Relicy, Relic McRelicson. Watch, we're gonna draw like Tetsuko Umizawa on turn two and feel real dumb about this. All right, I feel fine about it. I mean, this is not a great draw on turn three, but what can you do? Turn two, whatever. Turn six, six turns away from when we can cast it with uh, only a single forest in hand. So I got this on three, this on six, this on eight. Perfect. What could go wrong? That also forces us to draw, have to draw two more lands between now and then, which have to be forests. So three, four, six, seven. We'll have to have nine lands between... Uh, yeah, we're blocking. All day. My my stir const is probably... Uh, it's probably not going to be working for quite some time, unfortunately. Oh, Interesting. You win some, you syncopate some.
Yeah, that was only match two. <laughs> we are going to match three. And by going to, I mean we are in match three. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just syncopate you. I don't feel like dealing with that dude. What up, Unseen Spectre? Well, I mean, we're taking four a turn. So, what are you going to do? Well, what are you going to do? Take four a turn, dummy. <coughs> are you or one of your loved ones suffering from out-of-date conster? Stir const? What do we mill here? Milled a Yogmoss. Yeah, all right, that's good. And a Cabal Palatin. Paladin. Palatin. <sighs> so, Vile Offering. And, yeah. Oh, you're going to you're gonna kick it, too. Isn't that cute? Having a good time. Unable to play my cards. It's going to be Forest, you ready? Hey, we got rewarded. Not really, I guess. We can't actually activate you, and we also can't exile anything in our graveyard, so it's basically just a 2-2. I guess it does block one of these guys, so. <clears throat> hey, what can you do, huh? Oh, we can actually... Oh, that is, it's a sword card. All right, all right. I forgot that it was... I thought it just meant legendaries for some reason. I'm not smart. No one's arguing with that. Hoo hoo hoo! Yeah. You guys are... We're having a good time. All right. So, Forest on the top. And actually, then we get a game. Then we get a game, ladies and gentlemen. Forest on the top into a game. And then they're just like, kill it with our with my thing, that, my killing thing. Seems good. So, they can actually deal a seven right now. If they have a one mana creature, they can kill us. For as far as I mind, the YouTube channel Frank here is Sturkonst Addiction. Don't be fooled by the fake news media. Sturkonst Addiction is real and it's potentially lethal. Please consider donating today in the form of subscription bits or Patreon contribution. Water Sports Drew knows what's up. Well, that's the end. That's the end, ladies and gentlemen. Both teams played hard. One played harder than the other, but, you know, both both teams still played hard. I really just want another 2-2 in my deck. <coughs> oh, boy. I thought our deck was great. I thought we were putting up some good some good results here, but then our opponents uh, kept doing things. So you made a ramp deck with no ramp? I don't, I don't think we did that. We have one 8-mana card. Is that a ramp deck? I don't understand your question. Like, we have a bunch of three drops and four drops of like five drops, two drops. I don't understand. Like, is it a ramp deck? Why is it a ramp deck? Because we have one expensive card in it? I will play first, obviously. Uh, keep. I mean, Dijin coming down on three as a 2-4 flyer or a 3-4 flyer is completely fine. <clears throat> not really a super... Not, it's not really a ramp card. <laughs> like, I mean, if you played as a 4-drop, it's still totally fine. If you played a 5-drop, it's totally fine. Like, it scales very well. It's not a ramp deck just because you want to consider what I made a ramp deck. It's not really how that works.
I mean, I also don't think having two cards in your deck that that like I mean, you can you can equip this to any of the uh, the legendary creatures. Uh, it's, it's also fine. <clears throat> uh, I don't want to actually put this on any of these idiots, so I will not. Actual zero pieces of Exodia. Foolish. <laughs> well, that's not what we're looking for here. I just don't feel like playing Candle here, but... Uh, we didn't play the artifact because we have things that trigger with artifacts, such as Relic, Seeker, slash Hunter, whatever the card is. I don't even know what the card's called. The 2-1 that, like, is unblockable whenever you play a, uh, a historic card. <clears throat> but we're at a point where, like, if we get another mana, we're just going to play 5-drop, and then I'd rather just have this on board for 6 because we don't actually get a a reasonable time frame to play it, so... There we go. They're also missing infinite lands, which is kind of funny, but... <sighs> that seems fine. <coughs> Yeah, that's one problem with Deep Freeze against the uh, the black decks, is that you just give them a free sacrifice outlet for something like Vicious Offering. Yep, go to 8 here. There's a lot of elves, man. So now they just have both their elves and their three lands to play uh, Yawgmoth's Bar. I don't know the name of that card either. It's interesting that you didn't wait till next turn to do that. <clears throat> I mean, this is a lot of guys. We block here, we take one, two, three, four, five, and we go to three. Uh, and that's presuming they don't have a way to just deal with this guy. I think we're just dead here, unfortunately. Not the best second draft so both of our draft we went one two but i'm pretty sure our draft yesterday which we did at the game store in jacksonville arkansas was uh i'm pretty sure we could have won that last game we just ended up timing out because magic online uh somewhat froze slash crashed in our final round and we got stuck on the sideboarding screen and it was unresponsive so we were not able to actually do anything <clears throat> and it took us a while to restart because i wasn't sure if it was it was the uh, the client or the something else. So, yep, that's actually fine. Wish we had one more land to be able to syncopate that, but we can actually just ancient animus. It does. <clears throat> Rector, what's going on, buddy? Uh, I have, I'm not going to be sending them out. Brian from, uh, the game store is going to be sending them out and I have no idea if he has yet. Um, Oh, they nullified the match and I played another? That sounds terrible. Why wouldn't they just give you the draft back?
Does he send tracking? Dude, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I don't know his 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 shipping preference, his uh his shipping patterns. <clears throat> I ha I have no idea. Oh. Uh, yep, that's a good one. Another situation where one land would do us a lot of good here, but It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Another another one land here would be <laughs> would be good. <laughs> it's like all right, so one man, one land last turn could have killed this guy. One land this turn could have killed this guy. One land this turn could have killed this guy. But uh, it's not, it's not really looking, looking ideal. We need three lands for this guy to be relevant, and I don't foresee us getting there. However, <clears throat> I don't know if it's more relevant on the board. We go to four. We can go block, block. We take one, two, three. It's pretty rough. I think we actually have to play this guy here. Because if we go to three, we take out these two twos. Or we take out a one one even. If we have an extra guy on board. We'd have to block the two twos and take one, two, three, because then we go to then we otherwise we'd die. But then we lose a Thalid, and they have one, two, three, four guys still on board, and we just lose to the flyer. <coughs> I'm still waiting for my uh, the result for my refund request. Wow. Oh, they still have one up. Unbelievable. <laughs> it never fails. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, they attack with one less guy here. Maybe they don't see it. I don't know. They're going to see it, but... Oh, my God. That's so sad. <laughs> The one time syncopate's actually playable is the one time they don't tap out, which is just perfect. Yep, there you go. You figured it out. Here we go. We're going to draw six drops. See, it's funny because no matter what we, well, we... If we draw land, it's actually pretty good, but... I feel like it might be land. Thank goodness. <clears throat> what can they get back? Oh, they get back Cloud Reader Sphinx. That's pretty good. <coughs> yep. I mean, we're basically just dead here. They alpha here, we go to one. Yep. Three cards, any pump spell kills us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that wasn't a pump spell. So we go to one, and we still have to draw something to not die. Yep, that's not good. Okay, so that'll do. And land again. Deep freeze. All right. Well, we had a good run. <clears throat> Deck was fun. <laughs> what are you going to do? Second draft. We'll see how things go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash And be sure to uh, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, guys.